Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Poison Akami here. Me, myself and I back at it again with another video. And today's video is going to be another one about Storm Connections, obviously bringing you more news. So right now I'm on the official website. So the link to this will be down in the comment section below. I will pin the comment with the website link if you guys want to check it out. Uh, it will be in Japanese by default, but you can translate it to English using your browser or whatever third party tool you need. Uh, so it guarantees the consoles it will be on the platforms. So PlayStation 5, PS4, Switch, uh, Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One. I do believe it should be on PC as well. I don't see why it shouldn't be. Uh, and then it says the definitive edition of the Naruto Met Storm series commemorating the 20th anniversary of the anime Naruto is here. Now, Naruto Met is how uh, the Japanese pronounce Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm or Naruto Ultimate. So they call Naruto Met. And that's their way of calling it Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. So they pronounce it as Naruto Met. Um, that's how they do it in Japanese. Uh, it says, Welcome new shinobi and update the maximum number of playable characters in the series. And here we have Indra, uh, sorry, Ashura <laughs> and Indra. So if we click on Ashura's one here, uh, we can take a good look. It says Ashura Suzuki there. Nice art. So this looks like it's going to be his in game art right there. And we have Indra's in game art right here as well. Both looking very good. Nice characters right there. And it says, We plan to participate in other events one after another now this is a key part so i remember senju saying a while ago about how this should be a very competitive game there's going to be like as events maybe like an esports and he was even giving us a disclaimer about doing our best and what we can as a community to make sure that the game stays at events it looks like bandai cct whoever possibly bandai has been behind because they've been planning and probably booking out events and stuff and they want to participate in other events one after another. Now, because this is all based on a Naruto game, it being connections, I'm assuming there's going to be events with connections in it, such as tournaments or whatever. Oh, no, I know, I can imagine tournaments, and it might be creating maybe, maybe a bit of an esports scene. So, hopefully, that's what this means. And if so, that is huge information, and this website is a godsend just for that alone. Uh, we have a nice moving image here of the character roster showing from Naruto to Sakurai, uh, Sasuke to Sakura there. We got more hidden leaf ninjas here. Very nice in-game art of them all as well in their full renders with their names and nice colors behind them. Everything is looking very nice. At the bottom there is a list of playable characters which we'll get into in just a second. And then the story of Naruto and Sasuke which has been drawn with super anime expressions is reconstructed and recorded in this one. So the first tab has Naruto versus Shukaku, uh, which is Gaara and his one tail beast. We have Sage Mode Naruto versus Pain and his Paths of Pain. Uh, and then we have Naruto versus Kodama, which is a thing that happened in Storm 3. Uh, and then we have Naruto versus Sasuke. So these are all events from the different Storm games. Obviously, you've got Storm 1 event here. We've got a Storm 2 event here. Uh, we got a Storm 3 event here and then a Storm 4 event here. So it's showing like the previous key moments of each Storm game. That was very pivotal to the story. We have a news segment right here. So it says February 24th is when the official website was released. So it is currently the 24th of February, 2 a.m. right now. Uh, also in Japan, it is now the 24th of February as well because they're ahead of us in time. So that would make sense. And then it is even plugged to the Naruto Game Info Japanese Twitter right here, uh, which is a Twitter page with, with all their posts about Naruto Bar. So, so I suggest following this page in particular if you can find them on Twitter to find out all of your Naruto gaming news, but I will also be here to post about Naruto gaming news as and when I possibly can. And then at the bottom, we've got the title name of the game, release date. So we should keep an eye on this because when traders release or whatever, or any time they could update this with a month and day. So let's keep an eye on this in particular. Um, and then selling us the platforms again, what type of genre the game is, and then number of players that can do it. So this already tells me that Endless Mode is going to be back. Endless Mode is back because 2 to 8 people can play in an Endless Mode. 2 to 8 people can play in a Tournament Mode. Tournament analysis are most likely going to make a return because of this. Um, so that's cool. And then we have the copyright uh, credits at the bottom with Masashi Kishimoto, Shueisha, TV Tokyo, Perio, um, movie productions as well, I guess because of certain characters, and then Bandai being the publishers as well. Uh, so Bandai was under this, I guess, um, and things like that. So yeah, and it's got all your different things at the bottom of Bandai and things like that at the bottom. So lots of information there. Let's take a look at the list of playable characters real quick. Okay, so we have our character roster. 
Um, <laughs> okay, so I've looked at this earlier and some of the translations aren't good. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, okay, so we have Oshara and Indra Otsusuki. You can't click on them, they're not clickable. Um, you, like, I'm, I'm clicking, I, I can't access any, they're not links. It's just a list of characters. So these are all currently the confirmed playable characters that are making it into connections. So we have Andra and Ish, uh, sorry, Ashra and Indra. We have all the Naruto's from PTS to Shippuden, Sage, Chroma Link Mode, Sage Six Paths, Naruto the Last, Great Bar to Naruto. Same with all the corresponding Sasuke's. We got Sakura. We got Bar uh, Boruto. Sorry. <laughs> See how it says Bolt. <laughs> so we got we got Salad. <laughs> the obviously the the translation's off, but uh, yeah, we got. All the PTS characters, so PTS characters are making return. Got all the Jonin coming back. Except Kronai, sadly. Uh, we've got the Sand Ninja, we've got the Cloud Ninja, we've got the Mist Ninja, we've got Taka, we've got Karin, Suigetsu, Weasel. <laughs> Itachi's name directly translates to Weasel. So, <laughs> it's gonna do that. Uh, we've got Deodora, we've got Scorpion. <laughs> I didn't know Sasori was Scorpion. This part interests me. So here we have Pain. Now this is Pain's character render art, I believe. But why is his character profile featuring the paths of Pain with him? Does this potentially mean new moveset? Or is it because these characters are featured in his combos? I find it weird that these guys are now featured in his character portrait when they never were in any other art of pain in storm games or in, in the character select at least like this is a foreign concept and i don't know if that means opportunity for different movesets could mean anything i don't know but this is something to look out for uh black guy <laughs> obviously we've got toby we've got mass man uh war mass man we've got uh obito and jubito rampaging obito madara Kaguya, we got our newest DLC character, or our most recent DLC, Momoshiki and Kinshiki. Nagato, we got all the reanimated folk. So we got reanimated people. First Kage, second Kage, third, fourth. Uh, this means that obviously all their movesets are going to be in the game, even in their life forms. We got Hanzo as well, that's great. Second Bizu, second uh, Tuchikage. We got Mifune, Orochimaru, Kabuto, all of Kabuto's different forms and their movesets, Kimimaru, we got the Sound 4, and Mecha Naruto. So it seems all of these characters are going to be confirmed and playable, which is pretty much all of the characters that we currently have access to in Storm 4. Only characters that aren't going to be a thing is Lars from Storm 2, which I know a lot of you keep asking for. Uh, but other <laughs> Rhinoceros, bro. <laughs> the translation's funny. This isn't the the author's fault, like whoever like made this website and, and noted this down. Not their fault. This is translated through um, Google Chrome. So this is a translation error from Chrome. That's why Sai is called Rhinoceros. Chio Ba. Old Lady Chio or Grandma Chio, that would translate to, because Ba, like Ba Chan, uh, means old lady or grandma. So Grandma Chio. Anyways, uh, I could sit here all day and go through translations with you about Japanese and stuff, but this is basically just showing you all of the confirmed characters. So like I said, the parts that interest me most about this website is Pain's portrait here as to why it's showing his paths of pain. Uh, the other part is obviously the addition of Ashura and Indra, so it shows that if we keep an eye on this character tab, we're going to see more characters getting added to the list, which is cool. And then to go back to the main page, there's a button here that says return. We click on that, got a nice little logo uh, there. And then we can look, oh wait, I've gone past it. I've gone right past it. This part also interests me. So guys, be sure to check out the website often. Uh, there, may, there may be updates. Obviously be sure to follow the Twitter pages as well associated. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel because I will also be on my best to uh, relay information to you guys as and when as possible. I am trying to give you guys as much outlets as possible in terms of information. I have also heard that on the Best Buy website, um, on there, big, big shout out to uh, somebody in my DMs. I forgot his name already. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a shout out real quick because he is awesome about it. Uh, big shout out to Noir. 
I hope I said his name right, Noir showed me a screenshot of Best Buy. Basically, Best Buy is saying about how in the story, they say that the story uh, is saying that there's a new Barto exclusive story. So we knew there was a new story, but we didn't know it was Barto exclusive. So this looks like to be an introduction to the Barto anime. Uh, which I have some other theories about that. So yeah, big shout out to Noir about that. Really, really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that, of course. And there's me exposing my Skype, my old Skype that I don't even use anymore. Um, so yeah, be sure to obviously stay tuned to the website. Follow the Twitter page that you've seen in there. Uh, be sure to check out this website. This website will be in the pinned comment in the comment section of this video. So be sure to drop a comment, like the video, stay subscribed, stay in, stay in, stay in the know, stay in the know. We're all excited about connections. Connections is huge right now. As always, it's been a boy Poison Akami, Janet.